Hi folks, in this video I'm going to be showing you the Aku Tricker Light free boot, and here it is. When Aku initially invited me to test these boots out for them, I turned them down because Italian boots do tend to be a more narrow fit. However, Aku got back to me and says, well, we do a wide fit as well, so we'll send you them. So this here is a Tricker Light free wide fit. I went on their website to have a little nose to see what they say about them. The information is a little bit vague, but basically what they say is evolution of the Trick Light 2 model. Its shape is also inspired by the Tengu Light model. These are robust and light, ideal for day excursions. They have a high level of comfort and breathability. Okay, so the upper of the boot, as you can probably make out, is suede. It is their Air 8000. I've got my notes here. The lining is their Gore-Tex Performance Comfort. The sole is Vibram, their Curcuma as they call it. You can see the grip there as well. You probably noticed I've had them out already. The insoles are called their Custom Fit Soft. They weigh 580 grams on my scales. Like I said before, these are the wide fit and the activity these are aimed for is hiking. So I've just realized because I've worn them and I'm getting dirt all over the dining table, so my missus will go mental when she sees this. So I'm going to clean this up and what I'll do is we'll see how we got on last week with the boots. Let's go. to summit of Morvan and so far so good with the boots. The, the sole isn't as flexible as I'm used to, in fact it's not flexible at all. It's a slight give um, but you don't get any feedback so that's personal preference. I know some people like to feel the terrain below their feet, others prefer a bit more protection. When you're walking over the stones and rocks you don't feel anything so some people might actually prefer that. Otherwise, um, yeah, not much more I can comment on just now. What I'll do is I'll see what the see how they perform on the way down. That's me back at the car after a nice three hour hike testing out the Aku Trekker lights. So what do I think? Well, I don't know if you noticed but I deliberately never used my trekking poles to give these a test to see what the grip's like. I got a mix of heather, mud, rock and stone and they grip really well, so that's a positive. The Vibram soles definitely work. Um, the breathability, I can't really comment to say if they work or not. I always have really hot feet, so my, my socks were as clammy as they ever are, so no really any comment there to be honest. But what I'll do is I'll finish off this review in the house, so I'll see you there. To conclude my initial impressions video, I have to say that the boots just ooze quality. From the stitching to the material used, you can just feel and see that they're a quality boot. However, I do find the soles just a little bit on the stiff side for me, and whilst there is a little bit of flex in those soles, I do prefer something a bit more flexible. However, other than that, I really can't fault these boots, and that is obviously just personal preference. But otherwise, that's all I've got time for, so thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers!